Hey, what's up everybody, Ralph here. So today I wanna to make a quick video about assets versus liabilities. Um, if you've ever taken accounting classes, then I'm sure you have a, a, a quick description of what assets and liabilities are. But I like to refer to my uh, to, to Robert Kiyosaki, the way he breaks it down in its simplest form. So basically an asset would be anything that puts money into your pocket. A liability would be anything that takes money out of your pocket. So for instance, asset would be like a, a rental property. Um, anything with like maybe cash or or anything that anything that generate income for you um, maybe stocks and stuff like that so these things would be like um, income generating assets so these would be assets to that are making you money helping you build wealth over time uh, liability would be anything that's taking money out of your pocket which would be you know a car loan uh, student debt um, even in a sense even a mortgage like say you own your you, you own a home that mortgage that you own your house is is a liability um, obviously because it's not making you money but that the property itself is an asset but the mortgage that the debt that you owe on that property is a liability um, I think for me like uh, if you if you to, to really get a better understanding, this is one game I, I talk about all the time, which is Cash Flow 101. It really goes over the dis, um, the basic understanding of an asset and, and the liability. I remember after playing that game, I really I got I got a, a quick understanding, and it really opened my mind to like, all right, this is how I what I this is how I need to think in terms of building wealth. Uh, so when you're playing that game, you get a sheet, um, and it, and you and you write down all it has. It's a, it's an income it, it's an income statement. It talks about your assets, liabilities, incomes, and expenses. So. Obviously, the goal of the game is to acquire assets and, and reduce your liability so you can get out the rat race. So the, the, when you're looking at that sheet, the, 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 the main understanding that I got from it is when you're acquiring rental properties, these are assets. All right, and these are generating income for you as long as you you got to you put a tenant in there and it's generating a, a positive um, cash flow. So these are generating in, um, income for you, which is a which 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 considers itself as an asset. Obviously, but if you write on that sheet, there's also a mortgage on that asset, which is the liability. Okay. Now, even though that is a rental property, that mortgage a debt a mortgage is always going to be a liability. But as long as it's generating cash flow, it's it's, it's an asset to you because it is making you money, even though you have that liability. So I think for for a lot of people, it's really it's, it's really important to understand um, the basic terms. Is is just an asset is is creating income. And a liability is taking money out of your pocket. So I think for a lot of people, it's like if you're trying to build wealth, then that means um, you want to acquire as ma as many assets as you can, right? And you want to reduce your liabilities because when you when you break it all down, the most one of the, mo the most important things when it comes to wealth is your cash flow, right? Now, if a, if a, if a bank, if you're trying to if you're trying to borrow money, a bank is always going to look at your your your, your net worth, so that, which is basically all of your assets minus your liabilities, right? So it doesn't even matter. Like some people make, you know, you know, six figures and and still have a negative a negative net worth, right? So it doesn't matter how much money you're making. What matters is 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 how you're managing your money, right? If you have a bunch of assets and you're reducing your liabilities, then the the goal is obviously to have a, a have a positive um, net worth. So. Um, so that's that. That's that's a quick breakdown. I didn't want this video to be too long, but yeah. So just a basic uh, a summary is an asset is anything that's putting money into your pocket, and um, uh, a liability is anything that's taking money out of your pocket. All right. And remember, the goal is to always build up your net worth. Okay. That's the that's the main goal. It's basically, acquire as much assets as you can. And if you're acquiring assets, going to generate a positive cash flow. And if you're somebody that's working a nine to five, obviously, if you can generate enough assets that's p producing enough cash flow, that's going to pay for your expenses expenses whether it's you know a, a mortgage or your car or whatever then you can escape you can get out the nine to five um to get out the rat race so that's all i got for, uh, for today um if you like what you heard make sure to hit the like button share subscribe and if you have any questions make sure to comment down below please all right so you guys have a good one and take care later